Hey, what is going on guys? Hex Company back in today with a brand new video and as always in the title below will be the topic we are talking about today, which just happens to be episode 9 of, well, Heart X Hybrid and or made so I got killing. So, let's start off with this festival one. Everyone's supposed to be relaxing, having a good time. And well, Kazuna decides to hold his science fair projects or whatever. And it just allows to be diagrams of the girls naked and where their sensitive spots are and how their body reacts. Whenever he, well, basically rubs them down, rubs them up, gropes them. Kinda has... Well, pretty much sex with them and does very many things. And uh, the reaction of the crowd as we go on and so forth. The reaction to what he's saying is like, he's a pro, pro Kazuna. He's no amateur. And then they're like, come on, get to it. We want to see it. And he's kind of clueless. He's like, he's like, wow, I didn't think you guys would uh, really want to get to that. I thought you guys would think this is the more interesting part. And all of a sudden it shows some naked girls. It's kind of oh, God, Kazuna. And they're like, yeah. I was like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but I, I had to get out of the way. I thought that was freaking hilarious. Like, this is the reaction. Like, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And he shows, like, Ayn. And, of course, Himikawa ends up uh, busting in and saying, what the hell are you doing? But I just thought that was really freaking hilarious. So, I had, I, I'm i sorry. I had to spend, like, the first minute of the video talking about that. So, originally in this episode, I was kind of like, is that girl in the opening new? Like, if someone will go back and check the previous episodes and and watch the opening at the like towards the very end all the way through to the very end and then watch this episode let me know if that girl with the purple hair is in the opening at the very at the very end of the opening let me know if she was in that before but cuz we introduced her in this episode could so it kind of makes like a lot of sense in that regard but i believe i have her name written down actually her name was a uh, Zelcione and we see her and Gabrielle, she's kind of like, you're a traitor because she didn't tell him about Zeros and everything. So it seems like Gabrielle's really like, I don't know, well, she's, she's definitely not good, like kind. I wouldn't say she's kind. I mean, she's still hurt innocent people. I mean, <laughs> she's making shit a war zone. She's hurt innocent people. But it seems like she kind of hasn't been in full control of that. But she's basically getting the shit knocked out of her and getting whipped and, well, basically raped. I mean, quite honestly. I mean, I mean, I guess it's not that bad. She's getting grope and stuff. But, I mean, she's getting whipped and they strip her naked and then they have her tied up. And I, I was kind of like, okay, this this is this is the main evil, like, group here, okay? So, the next we have her, like, using her eyes. Her eyes are going crazy. Zelshion, Shione's eyes are like, looks like they're freaking out, tweaking out, doing some crazy ass shit. But she can control people, I guess. So I'm like, okay, okay, control, be able to control people's minds with that. That makes sense. And she actually thought that one green-haired girl was gonna come save her, but she's like already under her control and like she's whipped and says, "Show me love" and all this stuff. Like I was like, what is she? What is she doing to her? Mm. But <laughs> I just love doing these reviews. It's so silly. But because it, well, the the anime reviews kind of give me this material though. But yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think you guys kind of get where I'm coming from. But there ends up being two of them. There ends up being two of them. It's kind of like, what the hell? Why is there... Was it mother-daughter? I wasn't sure. I didn't... We didn't really get a... A good solid look, but... Other than that... Oh, why not? Why not? Not even gonna edit it. I don't care. But... Not not this video. Not this... Not for me, so I got cool. And this is supposed to be a relaxed... Very guilt pleasure show. So we're gonna... We're gonna take it that way and relax. Now, <laughs> now, um, uh, now, so forth, we actually get to see uh, Ayn just disappearing, and she keeps remembering more and more things, and she, and she kind of finds out that she's not from this world. She's just not. She's not from this world. She realizes it, and she's freaking out. She's she's like, what the hell am I? You know, she's really freaking out now. She doesn't want to do any more heart hybrids. And I thought it's kind of like, what the heck? They're just kind of like having a heart to heart, and he's kind of like, show me your titties. I'm buttoning her shirt. Just, I'm kind of like, Really? You went from that very sincere moment to that. Well done. Well played. Well played. I wish it's I wish I wish it's always that easy for males to do that to women. But that that's that's not how it works. So I was kinda like, okay. Uh oh, God, I has got a nice rack, but you know, you know, but but other than that, I mean nothing really happened in the episode besides we see Kazuna's mother and they're kinda like, What what is she doing here? And I was gonna we can see the mom. So is Zosione the leader of this, or is their mom? I mean, I think everything points to their mom, but Zosione looks 
well, very important to say the least. Like, like there's two of them that look like, yeah, look, they're the leaders. So I mean, they definitely like kind of made it like these are the leaders. This is the main enemy. So maybe they are the main enemy, but she's the one pulling the strings. Kazuna's mom. But other than that, I think I covered everything. I'm all over the place. I just wanted to really get this out out to you guys. Yeah, I think that's everything. But yeah, that's everything. This is probably the least professional video I've made. But you know what? Sometimes it's, you got you just gotta roll with the flow. You got you gotta do it. You know what else you gotta do? Leave a like, a comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter at x25. And as always, you've been hexed. And be sure to check out my Patreon down in the link below. I love you, son, bitches. Peace.